shortly we will see in the laboratory how we prepare biochar but before that let's discuss about the uh, what is biochar and how it is prepared the biochar we all know that it is a, a carbonaceous material and this biochar are basically produced at a slow pyrolysis process at a heating uh, i mean the rate should be uh, 3 degree c per minute and it is produced under limited air condition and then we eventually let them to cool and then it is grounded uh, i mean crushed and sieved to a range from 100 to 500 uh, uh, micron or micrometers and basically biochar i mean uh, they are basically highly dependent on on the the heating condition i mean the pyrolysis or ignition condition that is the temperature and the time and let's see this is one of the paper published from my colleague okay so let's see if you see there are different biochar prepared at different conditions so the first four the first three sets is for the time two hours at temperature 500 okay three hours and then four hours you can see the yield was around the first two was 29.54 29.25 how much amount we took and how much amount we got at the end i mean the final product and let's suppose four hours is 23 percentage if we are increasing the i mean the temperature the yield is decreasing if you see here uh, when we burned at 800 degrees C for uh, 4 hours, it's 12, you know, the yield is very low. And if you see 800 for 3 hours, it's the yield is around 14 percentage. And the pH you can see is almost constant for, uh, for uh, the, the lower temperature, the pH is around 11. Okay? And if you increase, I mean increasing, I mean beyond 700, it's like uh, above 11. Okay. and you can see the moisture content and the ash content also if you see the ash content at 500 it's 25.13 and uh, at 500 for 3 hours it's 28.29 and it will not increase and then decrease so there is an adverse trend but if you see here the trend at 600 degree for we burn for 4 hours the ash content is, is 30.9 percent whereas you can see the moisture content which is lying from 10 to 5 percentage the higher moisture content if you see it's at 700 for 2 hours and 500 for 2 hours and also for 700 for 4 hours and the surface area is higher when you can see the higher surface area was achieved when it was burned for 600 for 4 hours which is um, this is not the higher this is the higher one at 700 for 4 hours which is 434 and the pore volume is uh, varying from 0 0.5 0 0.57 to 7.14 so 7.14 is at 700 for 3 hours similarly for pore diameter which is fluctuating from uh, 32.95 to 16.05 so 32.95 is around is as at 500 for 2 hours and the lower one is at 800 for 3 hours subsequently we will just have a quick look at the other in physical chemical properties we saw the trend there and we just look at the the other structure analysis like FTIR FTIR you can see here the uh, let's uh, so uh, for FTIR you can see here it has you can see in the peak here the uh, the OH the OH bond is stretching at the peak of 332 332 to 3274 cm inverse the wave this is the wave number and subsequently you can see here for uh, moreover the there is a sharp band at 1600 cm inverse which is basically related to the aromatic and also uh, CO bond and additionally the, there is a broad band at 400 cm Inverse, which may be which may relate to the or correspond to the, the carbon carbon double bond now we will have a look at uh, we already saw the, the BET and the ash content everything let's stop here and in our next consecutive videos we will also look at the, the what is how do we perform the the moisture content or the ash content in the laboratory let's have a look at the you can see the for the same analysis the major is the carbon then oxygen then sodium then magnesium and silicon is also present okay 
So this is the SEM-ADX or elemental mapping of the biochar and this is the SEM-images. So for uh, preparing the biochar, as you can see here, we have dried date palm leaves. This, this one <coughs> is a shredded one and this one is crushed. Usually we use different kind of sieves for uh, taking the fine particles and this one is a sieve which is I mean bigger in size. Usually we don't prefer this one. For preparing the biochar, we prefer this, this fine sieve. So what we do, we we sieve it and then load them in the stainless steel tubes. This is the fine particles that we get after sieving. This is our material after sieving. We will load it here and make sure that they are hand tightened and the perforation, the holes have to be open okay? because usually the biochar, in case of biochar, we burn the material in presence of, you can say, insufficient air. So we load it here for a muffled furnace. You can see here the minimum temperature is 30 and the maximum is 3000. So for this experiment or tryouts, we have set our, this is our holding time. In 50 minutes, it will go till 500 and this is our maximum temperature up to which it will reach and this is our two hours two hours we are going we go we are going to burn the date palm phone so already we have loaded it here you can see and then we will burn and at the end we will see, show you the how the product looks like and also about so after loading in the tubes you can see here this is our in the waiting time which it was around 50 minutes and this is our the maximum temperature as i discussed earlier and this is our total time on up to which we are going to run in this video briefly we will be discussing about the the biochar preparation okay loading and all that we saw as per the request from some of our I main viewers and at the end we will see the name the dry weight and fry. at the end after preparation I and mean burning we usually take out the tubes and then we wait for a couple of minutes so that it cools down. Usually we put them in the desiccator so that it cools down. Then after burning, you can see the biochar looks like this. Our, the raw product, the feedstock, and this is our, the final product. It looks more porous and lighter in weight as compared to the raw material.